first want to talk about this new role for you uh, as host of Detroit Performs Live uh, from Mary Grove. Uh, that is really exciting. Uh, tell us about uh, what that means. It just seemed like an absolutely perfect fit uh, for, for me because I get to um, introduce some very talented, exciting, diverse within their disciplines artists uh, that maybe Detroit, obviously some of them Detroit has heard of, but uh, all of them Detroit can be proud of. So I get to not only introduce them and see their performances, but I get to sit down and talk with them and hear their stories and ask questions that hopefully um, will bring them closer and have Detroit know them even more intimately. So uh, for Detroit Performs, tell us, uh, you know, everything is different and somewhat disrupted because of all of the things that are going on. What, what should we expect from uh, Detroit Performs Live? Well, we're in, a, we're in the beautiful Mary Grove Theater on the campus of Mary Grove College. And uh, it's always something magical, magical when you step into the theater whether you're stepping on stage and, and you're getting the lighting. It ju it's just a transporting kind of experience and it's live. Um, although there are very, there, there is not really an audience present. There are people there, technicians, um, other performers supporting, uh, but uh, the, 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 the viewing audience will have a full and very powerful experience of their performances. Um, DPTV does an excellent job of, of filming and making it feel like you're right there sitting in one of those seats that soon we will be returning to. Yes. But, but Detroit can expect um, uh, some, some explosive performances from and, and a vast uh, intergenerational group of artists uh, over the spectrum of the performances. Uh, but a lot of times we see um, people's work out there. We hear their music, but, but we don't know the people who actually produced that wonderful work. And so it's always good to see the human being who's just as regular looking as everybody else. <laughs> see them uh, be just like you and they're expressing their artistic ability, which all of us have. Yeah, yeah. And I think COVID showed some of us and pushed some of us in the direction of doing what we've been procrastinating over for such a long <laughs> period of time. Yeah, yeah. So, so for viewers who are not familiar with uh, you or uh, the Secret Society of Twisted Storytellers, let's tell them about uh, that exciting work, which, which I have loved since you started it. Thank you. Well, and you've appeared on our stage and in I fact have. hosted uh, all these beautiful journalists that again, we see on the TV, but to have them right there where people can go up to them and just, you know, there is so much humanity out here in the city of Detroit and in the world. And we just, until they tell their story, uh, they just look good and smell good, I always say. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so the work that I, I do um, as a storyteller, as a director, as a producer, I want to put um, the people in Detroit and, and all over the globe on our stage and sort of unzip that beautiful package and hear their journey in life, which when they tell their story and always the way I listen and the way I curate is to deliver a little package of wisdom mm. that can make a powerful difference to the viewer, the listener. And uh, there are people who never walk into the right, live right here in Detroit, but, but they, they, they are avid about our YouTube channel. So we make sure that the delivery system of these stories are forever and accessible to people via social media. Yeah. Uh, when you started this, uh, I mean, you had been a storyteller for a really long time, and this was sort of an expansion of that idea and that uh, that franchise. But did you ever imagine it would grow to the extent that it has? I mean, this is a very uh, wide reaching and broad production. It draws in people from all over the place, not only to perform, but also to come see the performances. Is this what you had in mind when you started? Well, I think that if you talk to any artist, and especially if you talk to an artist like me who has 
you know, been on stages with 80,000 people in the audience. <laughs> I mean, even, even when I was in college and, and I was imagining my career, I would put on a, a Gino, Gino Vanelli album uh, <laughs> with the live so I could hear all of the applause and imagine myself. So I am, I did imagine it being something that would make a difference, but how it would grow with all of the support and all of the people uh, coming to it. No, no. And, I, and when I did imagine it, I imagined it first in, at the gym theater. And it was like, no little girl, no one knows what storytelling is. You better go back to that little 45 seat and build it up. And, and uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'm excited because I, I sort of feel like uh, the, a person who holds the space Mm -hmm. of this platform mm -hmm. and 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 the community tells me what to do oh mm -hmm. it would be nice to have musical performers how about if so and so were on the show they just did a movie Desiree Cooper and and uh, Mr. Schillinger they, they Aaron Schillinger they're doing a movie about the Babalo boat really mm -hmm. and so I am discovering through the community what's possible with the platform of the Secret Society of Twisted Storytellers, because I could never imagine all of what everyone else imagined. So this is also a place of collaboration of ideas and trying new things and rolling with the COVID hiccups. And it, so it's it's a create it's um, it's a creative opportunity. It's sometimes it it's it's um, devastating. I mean, I'm crying, ah! and sometimes <laughs> you know it's just part of the road. And now I feel this this balance and absolutely um, supported by the people who say, when are you coming back? I have to worry, <laughs> oh my God, so much has happened, oh, oh, you know. It's very exciting to have you uh, hosting Detroit Performs Live. We are all jazzed up about that, but uh, especially thank you for being here with us on American Black Journal. Thank you, Stephen. Take care, be well. You too.